There are six teams right now alive for the college football playoff. I am going to do a better job now breaking down the entire college football playoff picture than probably anyone you're going to hear anywhere. First of all, Alabama is in the playoff unless Tua gets hurt against Georgia. Alabama, I believe when the playoff comes out on Tuesday will have four, the final the final regular season rankings will have four top 25 wins. That's more top 25 wins than anybody else in college football will have. All of the arguments about Alabama not playing a tough, tough enough schedule, all of that is stupidity. We're talking about 20 Uh, two or more. That's the number of points that Alabama has beaten every opponent by. We're talking about a level of dominance we haven't seen in college football before going back a long, long way. That includes such illustrious teams as 95 Nebraska, closer games. 2001 Miami, closer games. 2002 Miami, the team that got the late pass interference called on them. 2004 USC. 2005 USC, the one that lost to Texas. Every team in the modern history that I have looked back on that was in any way in the Alabama universe has not been as dominant as Alabama against a schedule that is tougher than virtually anybody else who is playing in the college football uh, championship. Uh, So, unless we end up with a McKenzie Milton-like injury, Alabama has punched their ticket there in the playoffs. So, too, is Notre Dame. Notre Dame, you may not like it that they're not playing a conference championship game. You may think that they're being treated unfairly. 12-0, they are in the college football playoff. That leaves two spots. Who are going to get those spots? There are four candidates to get those final two spots. All right? Clemson. Clemson is a 24-ish point favorite over Pittsburgh. I believe Clemson will beat Pittsburgh. They will be in the playoff at 13-0. I would say this about Clemson in general. Okay? Let me say this. I'm not as big of a believer in Clemson as many people want to be because I think the the uh, ACC is a disaster, disaster this year. Look at what happened in the big ACC versus SEC conversations. We always have these rivalry games, right? Georgia goes out, gets up 45-7 on Georgia Tech. Pretty big beatdown Georgia put on. Kentucky beats Louisville 56-10 and Florida beats Florida State 41-14. South Carolina goes on the road at the Gamecocks and posts 35 points against this vaunted Clemson defense. They went up and down the field on them. They had a lot of success, okay? I'm not as convinced that Clemson is as good as many people seem to believe they are. I think if they lose to Pittsburgh, Clemson wouldn't make the playoff. So Clemson has to win. We have two teams that are in, Alabama, Notre Dame. Clemson, if they finish and go 13-0, and then the battle becomes who among Georgia, Oklahoma, and uh, Ohio State will get the fourth playoff spot. That's assuming that Clemson wins. That's assuming that Notre Dame wins. How would you actually break it down? Here's what needs to happen. If Georgia beats Alabama, right now they are a 13-point underdog in the SEC title game down in Atlanta this weekend. I'll be there. If Georgia beats Alabama, they're in the playoff. They would probably join Clemson. They would probably join Notre Dame. That's your playoff. It doesn't matter what Oklahoma does. It doesn't matter what Ohio State does. Great stat for you here that I clipped off that I want to read to you that I think deserves more attention than it is receiving. It is pretty wild. Georgia has wins over seven teams with winning records this year. Ohio State and Oklahoma have six wins over teams with winning records combined. If you want to talk about Georgia's resume, listen to that one more time. Georgia already has seven wins over teams with winning records this year. Oklahoma and Ohio State combined have six wins over teams with winning records so far this year. Georgia would 100% be in and Alabama would remain in. Okay, so if Georgia loses to Alabama, who gets in between Oklahoma and Ohio State as the number four playoff team? I think it's Oklahoma. I think when you look at the totality of Oklahoma's resume, they will have lost to Texas, come back and erased that loss while only losing by three points. I think it rises above the resume that Ohio State will post if they beat Northwestern. 
So, Oklahoma, if they win and Georgia loses, they are in. If Georgia and Oklahoma lose, then Ohio State is in. If Ohio State and Oklahoma both lose, then Georgia would get in as the top two loss team in all of college football. UCF won't be considered because of the awful McKenzie Milton injury. Barring a Tua-like injury, such like uh, Alex Smith or McKenzie Milton has gotten, Alabama is in no matter what happens in the SEC title game. So I believe we have two teams that have already punched their ticket, Alabama 12-0 and 12-0 Notre Dame. I believe that if, uh, if Georgia wins, they're in. I believe that if Clemson wins, they're in. I think the other two teams in order are Oklahoma and Ohio State. If Oklahoma, Ohio State, and Georgia all lose, then I think Georgia would get in as the fourth playoff team with an 11-2 record. Boom! That's the entire college football playoff picture. I don't even think there are any hypotheticals you guys can ask. Those are the six teams that are alive for four playoff 